Hello, this is Eric Reinhardt, licensed to play music piano instructor, and today what I want to kind of hash out for myself uh, and document this as a part of my piano lessons with one of my teachers, Sam Grodin. He's an international piano competition winner, and so he's been really changing my uh, approach and ways that I think about music. Um, most specifically, we've been working a lot on the importance of rhythm within music. Now, as a piano player, as a classical musician, especially loving the Romantic era, it's really common to excessively use rubato and to show how much you enjoy the music, how much you love the music, um, and use that as a method of expression. Now, I'm not saying that that is wrong because I do it a lot. Sam has, my teacher has really opened up my eyes to the importance that that rhythm plays and how we can more effectively communicate our rubato. I want to first highlight that Chopin, one of the most famous romantic piano composers, he always advocated for a very steady left hand, a consistent a consistent rhythm within the left hand, so you're never feeling this, uh, this lack of time. Um, something that comes to mind when you lose time, when you have this lapse in time, it almost reminds me of you're either you're growing or you're dying. The rhythm is either decaying and it's fading out and you're communicating death because we are all these beings of circadian rhythm and we're seeking out these patterns and so I think that using music as a method of of distilling and communicating some level of predictable nature I think is really important. Now one thing that one tactical thing that me and Sam have been working on together is really highlighting the big beats. So say we're in a nine eight time or three big beats or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, da 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 da. So those big beats are on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. And um and so you can really highlight those or even the biggest beat there is one. So it could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. And then on that last one, you may have heard that I was starting to uh, play with time a little bit, but still accentuating the first beat. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three. And so even though I'm playing with the time within within the measure, I'm still creating this forward momentum, this journey. As Mozart said, go on a journey, you crazy kids. If you guys watched the anime Your Lie in April, that's one of my absolute favorites. And so really I think we want to get our listeners into this into this flow state of repeating uh, repeating flow and I almost like to think of it as an egg kind of rolling and tumbling forward we want to have this this inertia to kind of wrap them up in the story of our music it's kind of ironic that I'm talking about this specific topic right now especially since I just recorded one of my Christmas albums uh, and it's called Have Yourself a Very Calm Piano Christmas. And there's a lot of moments in there with like fermatas and uh, basically complete lack of time. And so I'm considering where that's appropriate. And we have composers today who are very notorious for using pause, like grand pauses within their music. A Ludovico Ainaudi comes to mind or a Yaruma, uh, those sorts of new age composers. And um, perhaps the layperson, maybe they do enjoy that. Um, so that has just been a little glimpse into what I've been learning within my piano lessons, trying to be more conscious and more intentional, if anything. Um, not just go into our same habitual patterns. I don't know if any of you pianists out there, uh, if you do any improvisation, 
and you have a key that you have just these habitual patterns with, for me it's C major, and I always reach for the same spots. So I think it's just important to get out of our routine habit every once in a while so we can broaden, we can grow, and we can expand. So um, I'd love to hear what you guys think, what your opinion is on rubato. Where do you think it's appropriate? So if you'd like to do that, leave a comment down in below. Again, my name is Eric Reinhardt, licensed simply music piano instructor. Excited to shoot more videos of everything that I'm going to be learning in my piano lessons in the future. So, take care.